Hey y'all. My name is Selena. I'm the children's librarian here at the Wichita Falls Public Library. And today's story is Oliver, the second largest living thing on earth by Josh Crute. Oliver, the second largest living thing on earth. This is Sherman. He is the largest living thing on earth, and boy does he know it. There's even a sign. People come from all over the world to see Sherman. They take photos and stretch their arms to see who can give him the biggest bear hug, and they crane their necks up to see the top of his branches and sit on his roots to eat their lunches. And this, this is Oliver. Oliver is the second largest living thing on earth, but there isn't a sign for that. Nobody hugs Oliver or takes his picture. They pass beneath his boughs without ever looking up. He often feels invisible, which is surprising when you're 268.1 feet tall. One day, when the crowds were swarming especially loudly, and the cameras were flashing especially brightly, and Oliver was feeling especially lonely, he got so tired of living in Sherman's shadow that he decided to do something about it. So, he came up with a plan. He stretched his limbs in the winter. He lifted logs in the spring. He soaked up the sun in the summer and he munched on mulch in autumn. And by the end of the year, Oliver was bigger and taller than he had ever been before. But so was Sherman. Oliver wilted. He was still the second largest living thing on the earth with no admirers and no sign. So he did the only thing he could think of. He folded his branches, turned on his trunk, and looked the other way. And that was when he noticed Agnes. Do you see her right there in the back? This is Agnes. She is the third largest living thing on earth, but there isn't a sign for that. She often feels invisible, which is surprising when you're 240.9 feet tall. And this is Gertrude, and this is Peter, and this is Guadalupe, and this is Lars. Oliver waved shyly. He had never noticed them before. This is Oliver. He is the second largest living thing on earth, but he doesn't let that get under his bark anymore. because now he knows he's part of something larger. The Sequoia National Forest. And there's even a sign. And if you take this book home, you will find at the back that there's lots of cool facts that you can learn about. And your grown-up can read those to you, and you guys can look stuff up and learn all kinds of goodness. And that was Oliver, the Second Largest Living Thing on Earth by Josh Crute. 
Thank you so much for joining me for story time and I will see you again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Bye.